Hey everybody, Neil Bryan here, uh, coming with you today with another Let's Play. Uh, you know, I really enjoy the uh, the old Apple II games, especially from the early 80s. And I've got one here called Montezuma's Revenge. Uh, came out in 1984. Uh, it was on the Apple II, I think the Commodore 64, maybe a couple other ports. Uh, but I played this on the Apple, and uh, I wanted to share that with you, share it with you today. It, it's kind of a puzzle-type game, uh, adventure, Indiana Jones... I don't know. It's it's kind of hard, actually. Uh, it gets silly in places. So we're going to try this. It's been a long time, but let's see how we do. All right. There is Montezuma. I really understood why they called it Montezuma's Revenge. I think that has to do more with diarrhea, but... And this guy doesn't seem to have that. All right. The mechanics of the game uh, is basically move and jump. Those are your options, so... We want to move and jump, because if you fall, you do die. So, this is not like Mario Brothers. And there's a skull. Jump! Whew, that looked a little close. Uh, you got to get the keys to open the doors. Remember that? Who oh, got a key! All right. No, don't jump. Go down. Come on. Come on, Neil Bryan. There you go. All right. I've got to jump the skull again. Felt a little better about that one. Uh, now I, got, I have two doors I can unlock with only one key. So I think I'm going to be more adventurous and go to the other side. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, you see there up in the upper left corner, uh, I have five hats. Those are my, are my lives. Uh, I don't know what the... Oh, I think that kills a monster. So like I'm going to jump this snake, but if I... Oh, it disappeared. Disregard. And I missed. And I lost a hat. Okay. But the uh, snake is gone, so that's good. That's kind of a silly loss of one of my lives. I never claimed to be a master of this game, though. But I do enjoy it. All right. So those force fields, we need those to hang out. Ah, okay. Oh, spider. 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 Kill it with fire. Hey, mid best. And luckily, spiders can't use stairs. <laughs> Disregard! <laughs> oh, wow. You know, normally when I'm that much of an idiot, I would probably cut that out. But that was hilarious. Uh, apparently, spiders can use stairs. <laughs> Neil Bryan pwned! That was another stupid loss of one of my lives. Yay. All right. Rolling skull. Sword. Ah, sword. Ah, jump. Okay. Whew. I got away from you. Oh, and I got to go back to you. Come to papa. Ooh. Open, open, open. Oh, a bouncing skull. Should I go under or over? I'll take the low road. Because, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Jump that snake. That was a better jump. A much better jump. How do we get past that guy? I don't even know how you time that. He's like right there at the base. Uh, just dry. Ah, okay, lost a hat. No, I didn't lose a hat. How about maybe the other sword thing worked? Ah, don't jump yet, Brian. Go. No, no, no. go. Slide down the fireman's pole. Boodoosh. All right. I still have three hats left. Got to get the key. Hello, key. All right. Yes. I am the master of this. Well, no, I'm not because I lost a hat, didn't I? No, I didn't. I lost a sword. I don't even know how this game works. <laughs> All right. So, I, I mean, I guess I shouldn't just call it a puzzle game, because, I mean, you do have to kind of figure out how to get around the screen. It's probably more of a maze game. All right. Flashing snakes. That's supposed to be like their tongues and their tails, I guess. They're probably like rattlesnake cobras. Can you imagine that? A rattlesnake cobra. Sounds like something from Kung Fury. 
Ah, I missed. He bit me in the boo hole. But he's gone now. Lost a hat. Oh, the hats are so important for an adventurer. That is very Indiana Jones style, isn't he? Isn't it? All right. All right, I can't get past that blue thing into the rolling skull with keys. And if I go all the way to the bottom... All right, what's the trick here? Um... Okay. Oh, it can't jump off that. Oh, ah, I got through a door. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Woo. And back over him. And jump. Hey. All right. Well, I found the point of the door. All right. Let's leave this snake in the corner alone. He's not bothering anybody, right? Coin. I have keys and a sword. And I will jump that skull. And I will get that coin. And I will jump that fire! Alright, now if you fall, you die. So, I need to do this quickly. That may not be quickly enough! Okay, good, I got it. Um, now, I've already explored that way, though, so maybe I should go back and explore the other direction now. What do you think? If only you could tell me! <laughs> I feel so alone in the middle of the YouTube... Okay, that's getting dumb. Alright, um... Skadoosh! Ha, ah, I made the jump. So th so we're already in this room. We're kind of going back the other way. Uh, a snake took a hat here. They took my hat! Alright, and I opened up that door. So I wonder if I can go the other way. This is the beginning room, right? Can I go back up? Okay, yeah, I'm sure this is the beginning room. I remember. Alright, why well, can't I open that? I can't be stuck already! I have a sword! All right, well, maybe I missed something. Maybe there's another door further the other direction. So we'll just risk life and limb to... <laughs> okay. Ah, you've already taken my hat, snake. Isn't that kind of nice? You don't really die, you just lose a hat. Nice that I'm faster than a rolling skull. Oh, wow, I have... Uh... All right, well, let's see. Do I have enough? Ooh, -hoo, and one more. Oh! Oh, you are not right. Let me through. Okay. Back to the rolling skull. I'll skadoosh over him. I had enough to get a key, so apparently I needed those three keys to get one key. I don't know. Come to me, bouncing skull. And I jumped the snake! I don't know why those make me so nervous. Okay, so I've been here. Help me out, guys. If you see something I've missed, just uh, holler out to the screen. If you see a clue, just holler, A clue! A clue! Ba 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 Look out! Ba I think that was close. I'm not sure if those things will kill me or not. I think they will. But they may just be kind of a, a pain in the bonkers for you. Alright, made through that. And back to this guy. That's not a door, right? I mean, that, that looks like a wall to me. Oh, let's risk our... Let's risk our hats! Yep, that's a wall. Pointless risk of a hat. Jump! Okay, good. Be nice if you jumped a little higher when it came to the snakes. All right, so I'm back to here. Haven't missed anything in here. Except for that one sword, which apparently you have to die to get. Well, lose a hat. I'm not trading a hat for a sword. Actually, that probably would be a pretty good trade. Hey, I got a sword here. It's worth hundreds of dollars. Would you like to trade your $50 hat for it? Yes, please. Ah, whew, that was close. I uh, don't think I want to go that way. Yeah, this is back the way I came. All right. Um, get on the ladder. Go, 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 Montezuma. Although I don't think his name is Montezuma. I think it's supposed to be like the maze or temple of Montezuma. 
Oh, but I have a white key. Okay, so uh, back at the beginning. But I can go through the other door now. So apparently that was a plan. It's a snake! Okay. I don't want to go off the edge. You will die. Which is kind of weird. I mean, look how... Well, I guess not. I was going to say, look how high I can jump, but... Ooh, I've got a twofer. Going down, 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 down. Mm-hmm. All right. Not much room for error there. Ah, oh, I just collect keys. I am a uh, Indiana Jones type character that loves keys and hats, which is very Indiana Indiana Jones like. Jump. Score. Oh, missed that one. That's all right. And the wall. Look at that. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the wall. That's something. Uh, I think I'll go down this way. You know what that reminds me of is like when you're a kid and you're going downstairs on your butt, just dragging yourself with your feet. That's kind of what that looks like, doesn't it? Should I do it again? Let's do it again. Here we go. I'm going to just drag my butt down like stairs. Woo okay. There you go. You're welcome for wasting that 10 seconds of your life in a pointless... Oh, that's a wall too. All right. Well, I guess I have to go this way. Yeah. That's... That I just fell off. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I didn't make that jump. That's two hats lost. All right, come on, come on, Brian. You can do this. One more jump for the gold. We get quiet as he waits, and he goes. Ah! Okay, that was a really good jump. How the heck do I jump that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That was a horrible way to die. I lost, what, three hats in that room. Three hats. This room took three of my hats. I need to pack more hats next time. All right, sliding down the pole. Here we go again. Let's, uh, let's go the other way this time. Just real quick and see if there is any way to do that jump. Let's snag a key over here. Uh, this really is a great game. Uh, I spent a lot of time when I was younger playing it. As I said, I was never very good at it. Um, can't I don't I don't remember if I really solved a lot of it, uh, but I had a lot of fun playing it. Of course, I was a huge Indiana Jones buff when that stuff came out. So uh, this very much has that kind of feel to it. Uh, I had never really considered the issue with the hats. That's kind of bizarre, but it is, that is very Indiana Jones-ish. He loves his hat. All right, this is the room I lost my hats in last time. Let's grab this key. <laughs> it's like a little fart puff coming up. All right. All right, so what is the trick to getting in the middle there? Okay, I can't move after I jump. Uh, affect the way that I fall. Uh <laughs> Uh, pay no attention to that. Well, that works, actually. That puts me back here, so... It gives me the white key that... Maybe that's the solution, dude. This one's gonna cost you a hat. Oh. Burp. This game makes a lot of, like, little fart sounds. Skadoosh. Alright, and back to where we were before. Essentially. Um, and that side was a dead end, wasn't it? Because it was a wall that was actually there. So. Okay, well, if uh, if there was a room in Montezuma that we could call hell, I think this would be the room. And I'm going to finish there. I just wanted to expose you guys to this game today, Montezuma's Revenge. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Um, I, have, I have a blast playing it. Uh, kind of a puzzle game. Uh, I, I think I'm going to stick with that because it, it really is. There's... I mean, there's some, you know, hand-eye jump motion. Well, actually, there's quite a bit. Forget about what I said. 
Great game. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Uh, you are amazing and you are special and there is a plan for your life. Don't let anyone tell you any differently. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here. Make sure and hit that subscribe button uh, if you like more, want more videos like this. I have a lot of different kinds of videos on my channel. If you haven't really checked me out, I encourage you to do so. And uh, have a great day. Until next time. Bye-bye.